Fine art market broadly comprises of four product categories, that is painting, sculptures, antiques and photography. Paintings alone comprises more than 90% of the market's revenue. Now, painting can further be divided down into two categories, modern art and contemporary art. Now, of course, due to legacy and due to its age and maturity, the modern art will always be more predominant and always be playing a major role than the contemporary Indian art. Top 5 modern Indian artists according to 2015 auction revenue are S.H. Raza, M.F. Hussain, F.N. Souza, Tayab Mehta and V.S. Gaithonde. Similarly, top 5 contemporary Indian artists according to 2015 are Anish Kapoor, Jitesh Kalap, Ravindra Reddy, Atul Dodia and Tukral and Tagar. Currently, the Indian art market is valued anywhere between 1,000 to 1,200 crore or if you have to say it's around 150 to 200 million dollars. Now this is still quite big and drastic change when you compare 10 years back it was valued at around 50 crores and a mere 8.5 million dollars. So an interesting trend is now coming up in the current art market which is technology. Now, there is a growing trend of internet portals that are opening up. Astaguru.com is one of the firms that is among the front runners in embracing this technology. In fact, what is also thought is that the Indian art market will be growing around 15% in the coming years and globally speaking, the figures are being around 20% in a year. So from current $2.3 billion market is expected to contribute and push market to $6.3 billion in sales by 2019. So based on 2014 figures, the global fine art market had given an annual turnover of $70 billion. Now, Indian art in that respect does not even contribute to even 1% of that market. To bring things into perspective, a painting by Paul Gauguin, which was one of the most expensive paintings to have ever sold, which was sold in a private sales, of course, was sold for $300 million. That compared to our entire fine art market, which is priced at around $200 million. That's how small and significant the market is at the moment. It's not all bad with the Indian art market. What we have to recognize is that we are in an infancy compared to the global art market and have only managed to put our imprint in the 1990s. This is how young we are as an art market. Also encouraging to know is that India is among the top four growing art markets in the world. What underlines this great story of this growing Indian art market is the fact that six out of the ten most expensive Indian artworks to be sold have all been sold in the year 2015. Taking all these facts into consideration, I believe this is the right time to be in the Indian art market and investing into this is going to give you exceptional returns in the coming years.